What's going on, swim fans? We're here at the pool. We've got a morning workout. We're in Cancun. We've got the entire team ready to go. Woo! A 200 butterfly, four time to warm things up. Oh my God, guys, this is one of the most ridiculous rooms that I've ever been in. There's an echo in here. It's so large, it's so big. What's going on, swim fans? We're in Cancun, Mexico at the My Swim Pro annual company retreat. We have team members flying in from all over the world. Our international team spans 10 time zones and we're here in Cancun, Mexico, so we can all come together, work for a week, have fun together, create some amazing content, and of course, create some incredible experiences while we're here in Mexico. In this video, we're gonna walk you through what it's like to be at the My Swim Pro Retreat, the workouts, the strategy sessions, the food, the beach, the pools, and everything else in between so you know exactly what it's like. So make sure you watch this video until the very end to get the full My Swim Pro Retreat experience. Let's go. We had a jam-packed week that included snorkeling, cliff jumping, dry land at the beach, pool workouts as a team, and of course, some quality time together. As a fully remote team, we all work from home, so we used this opportunity to come together and align on our strategy and produce some epic content. For our last international retreat, I Airbnb'd a castle on an island in Spain. Our castle was right on the edge of a beautiful bay with a small island not too far offshore. Every morning, we'd either swim a lap around the island or do dry land at the beach. That was pretty nuts. Last year, because of the pandemic, we couldn't travel anywhere, so instead we did a camping adventure in our own backyards. So this year, I decided to book an all-inclusive resort and use the presidential suite as our HQ for the week. Good morning from Cancun, Mexico. It is the first day of our annual team retreat. So excited to kick things off with a workout at the beach. It's gonna be amazing, team building, getting a good pump, let's go. We hit the beach at 7.30 a.m. local time and ran through a total body dry land circuit. I got the team started with a dynamic warm-up that included some light jogging and plyometric movements. We finished the warm-up with some launch sprints and a dynamic arm swing movement. We ran through the main circuit three times that included push-ups, squats, and leg lifts. After the first circuit, we did another three rounds that included jumping jacks, plank jacks, and Russian twists. I felt like a drill sergeant running through a boot camp session. It was all fun and games until we hit the planks. Then sh got real. Just kidding, but really, nothing beats working out at the beach with your team at sunrise. We were mesmerized by the view, but needed breakfast, so we refueled at the cafe, which by the way, is an endless buffet, and then we headed to the presidential suite. This place is currently serving as my Swim Pro HQ. Right now the teams are actually broken up into a few different groups. And if you check out, uh, we've got the TV and the setup here. We've got Gisela, Adam, and Paige are working on some strategy. Hey, so we were just working on a list of uh, the future of swimming. So we came up with a bunch of ideas, like expanded water safety classes and education, um, maybe stationary pool gyms, like spin classes, but with a, like a stationary pool. Adam, what's your favorite stroke? My favorite stroke is breaststroke. Uh, I'm a sprint breaststroker, so. Um, what's your least favorite stroke? My least favorite stroke is probably butterfly, because I can't kick legal butterfly kick. So, perfect. <laughs> that's, that's the shot we're gonna use. Right now, we're talking about how to expand the sport and the community. I mean, the more swimmers we have, the more people we have excited about the sport, the more we build the community of the sport. On the first day, I shared our state of the company, a quarterly presentation that gives an overview of where we're at as a business and how this coming quarter lines up to our overall strategy. And because we believe through this intersection of technology and swimming that we can empower our community members to improve their performance and health. We are democratizing this sport. If my swim pro did not exist, there would be less people swimming. So we in this room are playing a very significant role in this innovation over the next 10 to 20 years. But I ask you guys, what do you think swimming will look like in the next 10 to 20 years? I left the team pondering that thought with a full week of aquatic activities lined up. Really excited to be here. It's been really nice. Today's absolutely beautiful. We are in paradise. I think water is something that's really like relaxing. Um, and then the breath work, the meditation, and then also getting your heart rate up at the same time. It's just the perfect combination that I need to like relax. The next morning, we hit the 25 meter lap pool for the first team swim workout. What's going on, swim fans? We're here at the pool. We've got a morning workout. We're in Cancun. We've got the entire team ready to go. Woo! 200 butterfly, four 
time to warm things up. Yes! Who's ready? Woo! Ready? Go! You can jump in now. Okay. Take it from here. If we really started the workout with a 200 butterfly, I don't think we'd have a productive rest of the retreat. So instead, we did a descending ladder, starting with a 200 free, then a 100 free, then a 50 freestyle. Swimming at a beautiful pool, surrounded by palm trees next to the beach, is an absolutely incredible experience and gorgeous sight. I ran the team through a series of kicking drills, and we were focused on improving our feel of the water. It's still not gonna feel fast, but that's okay. We're gonna build up our hands, and we're gonna feel really good at the end. You know, working with a coach, working with someone, you know, giving you kind of a guided workout is very different than, than, than swimming on your own. Yeah. And it's really not the same thing when you have someone in your ear telling you, okay, now we're gonna do this. Okay, now we're gonna do this. Yeah. If you haven't tried swimming with a guided workout, it's an absolute game changer. We all have different goals and abilities when we swim, so it doesn't make sense for us to do the same workout as someone else. No two swimmers are the same, and with the My Swim Pro app, no two workouts are the same either. Every swim workout is personalized to your speed, and you can even customize the workout further to adjust the length by sliding your finger across the screen. The app has dozens of training plans and syncs with the latest smartwatches from Garmin and Apple, so you can see your data from individual workouts over time. Get into a guided workout, try the watch, and then come talk to me if you have any questions. Try, try the watch, like try the My Swim Pro app on the watch. On the watch, <laughs> yeah. Speaking of guided workouts, we spent a ton of time brainstorming how we can make the My Swim Pro app better and help more swimmers improve their performance and health. Every team member had the opportunity to share a bit about themselves, and in the evenings, we experienced some fine dining with four course meals that fueled us for the next day. On our third day of the trip, we went to an epic water park in Tulum where we got to chill out, take in the views, and snorkel with the fish. Some of us tackled a 40 meter high lighthouse, which had a water slide that sends you rocketing down to earth at up to eight meters per second. We also went zip lining and experienced some of the other attractions at the park, including cliff jumping and floating down the lazy river, soaking in the sun. Over the course of the week, sometimes we split up with the product team tackling engineering challenges while the marketing team produced content at the pool and the beach. The content we created is designed to educate, inspire, and entertain our community members. We certainly made plenty of TikToks. We were even able to throw Kaylee inside of a swim cap. The content we created at the retreat will be seen by millions of swimmers around the world, furthering our mission to help people lead happier and healthier lives through swimming. My ability to do a workout without dying in the middle. Um, I feel a lot better in the water. I'm able to go a little bit further, which is motiv motivating me, right? It makes mm -hmm. me feel better. I'm not, I'm not anxious about going to the pool quite as much. It's okay to fail and make mistakes, right? When I started, I didn't even know how to put on a swim cap. I didn't know how to put on my goggles. I had the wrong swim trunks. It's okay, that's fine. You're, get, you're gonna make those mistakes. You're gonna fail in those ways. That's the only way you're gonna learn. In the final few days of the retreat, we had a couple more morning swims. One of them was a mix of swimming and dry land. We'd swim 25 meters, get out, and then do jumping jacks, push-ups, or leg lifts on my command. This is a great way to make your workout more engaging without swimming tons of distance. I'm not sure which one is harder, a 200 butterfly or this grueling mix of swimming and dry land. We wrapped up that session with a few relays, which turned out to be pretty close. Gotta love the competition. I do, I do like the morning workouts. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't done a morning workout in three and a half years. It's actually been really refreshing and I'm like, wow, this isn't bad for a little bit. <laughs> I felt very, very powerful in my dry land workout. I was like, ah, it's kicking some butt. Uh -huh. Love being competitive. I was pleasantly surprised with the pool workout. On the final morning, we did an open water swim with nature, and no kidding, we actually got to swim with turtles. The view was incredible, and we all had a great time swimming together. Oh, Cancun is beautiful. Went for an open water swim in the ocean this morning. It was fantastic. Hey, you know, this, is, this has been a great, it's been a great week, great retreat. I'm thrilled to be here. So we've had some workouts at the retreat, and I really haven't shared a lot with my family mm -hmm. because I got a text from my wife this morning that it was. 36 degrees at home. Ooh. It's uh, pretty cold in Boston, so I can't really send pictures, too many pictures of palm trees without getting um, 
sad face emojis or angry face emojis at me. <laughs> Swimming in paradise is really special. It was a magical experience, and we all left Mexico with some amazing memories and a little bit of suntan and plenty of fun stories to tell our friends. I can't wait until the next team retreat, and I hope you can follow along for the ride. If you're interested in joining the team, don't be afraid to reach out. If you're thinking of getting started with swimming or making a comeback of any kind, here's what a few of our team members had to say about that. Just try it. Just try it. In every sport you try, and there will be a community. And if you feel welcome, if you like doing it, just mm. keep doing it really just kind of get in and do it. Um, for, uh, I guess, runners and cyclists who haven't ever swam before, it can feel like just a completely different thing. And, you know, give it a try. <laughs>